what happened is that some of our philosophers got off base. And one of the great problems of history is that the concepts of love and power have usually been contrasted as opposites, polar opposites, so that love is identified with a resignation of power and power with a denial of love. It was this misinterpretation that caused uh, the philosopher Nietzsche, who was the philosopher of the will to power, to reject the Christian concept of love. It was the same misinterpretation which induced Christian theologians to reject Nietzsche's philosophy of the will to power in the name of the Christian idea of love. Now we got to get this thing right. What is needed is a realization that power without love is reckless and abusive and that love without power is sentimental and anemic. Power at its best. Power at its best is love, implementing the demands of justice, and justice at its best is love correcting everything that stands against love.